cloud computing entails is it, it provides a collection of hardware and software services as well as easy access to those services. You can think of it as, as the computing equivalent of cable television. Cable television is very complex. You have a wire that comes into your home. You might have some sort of remote control. But behind it is, is a very extensive technology. Cloud computing is trying to do the same thing with computing. Um, the idea being that you have computing resources and as someone who wants to take advantage of those computing resources, all you really want to do is, is get your programs in and get your data in, have the computation done and get your results out. One of the things this contribution from IBM does uh, is, is it gives Western a, a tremendous start in addressing some very substantial problems around dealing with large-scale data. In many, many circumstances, data will become the problems of the next decade. Not in terms of just generating data, but in terms of what do you do with all this data and how do you actually glean useful information from this particular data. The contribution from IBM not only gives us a system where people can begin to do this on a large scale, but they actually provide some of the software that's needed in order to actually extract this kind of information. A typical example of stream computing is, is what happens to trading firms, Wall Street firms. Um, the idea is that when you have a stock exchange, like the TSX or, or the Dow or whatever, and you have uh, trades happening very, very quickly, what's, what's being generated is lots and lots of pieces of data. And if you're a trader, one of the things you're interested in is part of that data. You're not interested in everything. But, but the way the exchanges deliver the data, they just give you everything. So they give you a stream of data. And one of the new pieces of software we'll have is, is, the, is a, a new product from IBM that will allow uh, individuals to write programs to analyze these kinds of streams of data. So conceivably, you could be writing something that would analyze a stream of stock market data where you're looking for certain stocks in your portfolio. Most of the data you get rid of, um, but, a lot, but some of the data you want to keep. And so the idea is to, is to filter this stream on a continuous basis and do something useful with it as, as uh, your particular problem.